Hey, what's up, Kim? All right, we've got Marmar. We're out here just doing some, some practice being around big dogs. So this puppy, this Schnauzer puppy, he's like nine months old, eight and a half, something like that. He has really big energy and Malo doesn't appreciate it right off the bat. So if he comes up to her like really, really quickly, it really scares her. So, so Kaden, let's have you just like walk by and have him ignore for the first time. So we just want her to process it. You did good, girl. And so I know that she would have, you know, fired up on him a little while ago. So as we're looking at her, I definitely see uh, stress signals. So so with her mouth open, I don't know if the video's uh, catching it, but, but uh, she's shaking a little bit. Just processing through the stress of having this dog walk by now she does trust Kaden as a handler so that's that's good but I'm actually like seeing interest right there like and so what what that what that says is that she's building faith that she'll be safe in this situation and so so I just have her we're just hanging out I don't have her uh, you know, like tied up good girl or anything like that so this time Kim let's have you take him around her and then Go around another time and do a down just about four feet away from her. So this this is just basically exposure therapy right here. So we, we get them into situations and we, we don't really let them avoid. Um, and so I do see a lot of good healthy interest though. So if you look at her, like when she kind of tries to smell this dog, she'll put her nose up in the air more yep. and kind of the... Yeah. That right there was something yeah. different because she was like, yeah. oh, I'm nervous about you. Yeah. Um, you're doing good, girl. But you can see like, so right there, she kind of like casually looks over. She's interested. She's just saying hi. She's like, oh, I'm checking you out, but I'm not going to do it too intensely. What a brave puppy. So she actually does really good with Drago, my German Shepherd. Lucy, her and Lucy are really good friends. Malo, what do you think, huh? Oh, you can hold it down too, can't you? And and so this is this is gonna be a good thing because so what's gonna happen right here? If this puppy pushes too hard, she's gonna snap at his face, and then she'll probably relax. She'll say, "Hey, I've said my piece," but I don't know. It's crazy that I was able to actually get this on film. Yeah. I should have stayed back yeah. because that yeah. was the cutest dang moment ever because that's that's a lot of trust um oh did i ruin it he's the nicest dog good boy come here girl she's so sweet good girl I'm gonna let him sniff her she's she's like pretty okay with it well i mean she's stressed at a 4.5 out of 10 so there's it's definitely there but the decision to let him um to let him sniff i mean like she she definitely has to deal with discomfort to handle that and really that's I think the Dalai Lama said it. It's like our interaction with discomfort is gonna lead to our happiness in life or something like that. Is that right, Kaden? I don't, I don't know. know, it sounds pretty good I, I didn't follow, I don't, <laughs> I'm really not that wise or knowledgeable. Just a dog trainer, but this is progress and this is this is trust. And, and the good thing about trust is when you can earn a little bit of trust, uh, the next little chunk comes easier and easier and then we can do this with more dogs i can guarantee if we can do this with a really you know loud and boisterous uh eight month old puppy that outweighs this poor girl by this much we can yeah keep getting around other dogs and helping her win on it so anyway hopefully that's fun to watch i'm pretty yeah i i'm i'm optimistic and inspired i think that's awesome Okay. Okay. Yes. Nope. Down. Good. Down. Good. She's like, I just want to be Jax's dog now. Was that not the cute?